About 9 months ago, we started the progress of making our 737 full simulator sidewalls. The sidewalls were made out of this thinner fiberboard, uh, bolted together, and then left in this stage to wait for fiberglass. In today's episode, we will be finishing the sidewalls, adding the fiberglass and all plastic components. Alright, we did some off-camera work, and we have the window sort of mount plate kind of window frame down here on both sides it's just styrofoam um, cut into some complicated shapes it was very boring and very not fun to do so we didn't record all right we made the thicker piece to go on the top here it's made of three pieces of uh, styrofoam and you can see that it lines up pretty nicely it's made that we uh, we will still uh, be able to uh, sand this down and yeah make it perfect. Yeah. Alright, so installing the insulation in the sidewall now. We're just cutting up some. Uh, I think this is twenty millimeter styrofoam. And, Probably. Yeah. And just putting it on the back of the sidewall here, and then we'll uh, use some spray foam to uh, sort of glue all of this together and then fill the gaps that there will be remaining. All right, now we have the uh, panels all spray foamed in, uh, insulation complete on the outside. And you can see we haven't all over all overlaid. Um, yeah, it looks ugly right now. No, I don't know uh, if we are gonna, we're gonna be really fixing it because it doesn't matter what it looks like from the outside. And just like that, we have now the Captain side complete. We also added some bevel to the side here, and we had to uh, make this little spacer here to uh, finish this gap because it was a little bit of a too wide. So we just added this little piece, and now there is no gap. Uh, the fiberglass will go around here and stop somewhere over there. All right. Here we have the fiberglass complete. I know um, I, I didn't feel many of the uh, actual fiberglass laying process, but uh, you gotta understand how uh, sort of hassle it is to fiberglass anything. Uh, we were in a very uh, big time crunch with, you know, you have to try to do the fiberglassing in the uh, shortest time possible. So it's very hard to film the process. Yeah, we might try to film the other side when we do that. All right, uh, so as you can see the putty or whatever filler is getting installed. We also put some fiberglass tape or something used on drywalls underneath to fix the unevenness of this thing so i think it's looking pretty good now yeah as you can see it was really curved yeah it... we got this right here yep okay the uh filling and putty uh was sanded and now we have it painted gray we realized before we started to paint that oh yes the sidewall is white except for this part so we just painted the part that needed to be filled, which is the gray part. Yes, and the reason we're painting this is that we will see better, uh, uh, in better contrast. Uh, which All the imperfections. Yeah, which spots we need to fill up. Yes. In them, so. All right, so after a couple layers of filling, we have now painted the whole thing with white uh, primer paint. Well, kind of primer. You probably can't see so well how smooth this is all already, but I think this is the final uh, smoothing we have done. Yeah, yeah, it's really smooth. Uh, you can see we painted it white. We forgot to uh, record the painting process, but uh, it's painted with the white. Uh, is this the white paint? Yes, this is the exact one. What and is the color, this... color code? Is RAL. 9002. Yes, and this should be the official paint color. Yes. So, next up is the gray part. 
All right, we have now got all the paint layers done and it's looking very great. Some minor imperfections, but we don't care. It's done, finally. All right, uh, so finally the second side wall will be fiberglassed and we are trying out the technique to try to prevent the styrofoam from melting. So sensitive places like the edge and this thin area here will be masked with tape and it hopefully won't melt through the tape and we will keep the sharp edges and thin details unlike on the other one which completely melted and we had to do some filling afterwards. So we have this all fiberglass, as you saw in the uh, time lapse video, and uh, it took like two hours complete, but it looks very good. Yeah, way way better than the previous one at this stage. Also, the tape method works. What it works? Yeah, and we, we need... tried to uh, <laughs> do another thing there. We yeah. fiberglassed and then wrapped it on tape because uh, it just kept falling. Yeah, so this is another experiment, but as you can see, it's all fiberglass. Uh, it's okay. Uh, no air bubbles. Okay, well, there is a lot of air bubbles, but not as much as the previous ones. And, and the previous one looks good already, so. Yeah, so I think this will be excellent when we uh, do the standing and. Like that. Yeah, probably just some filling again needed, but it's gonna be great and it's good to have this finally done. So here we have out now sanded and also filled some of the gaps. We didn't show any of that because that was not necessary. Yeah, but this came out pretty good already, so we didn't need to fill out quite much as we needed in this uh, first one. Yeah. All right, so now uh, we have sanded a little bit and we are applying the first white layer of paint on the uh, bottom um, area, like you can see on the other one. Yeah. And the top has been filled again because it was way too rough for paint. Yeah, but it should be quite okay now. I think there will be just a few little spots that we need to fill one more time, but um, we can probably proceed to paint it tomorrow. And then we have a second coat, and it's looking already is done now. That white area. Yeah, uh, you can see any seams here. So it it came out really good. Yes, really, really, really good. It's done. Yes. Now we have both of those uh, side walls at the same step. Yes. Yeah, all the panels, all the things, everything pretty nicely. But you know, there's no electronics, so that's the next step. We are now working on the electronics. We need to cut some wires, uh, put some LED dimmers. Yeah, so these are the potentiometers, and uh, as you have seen, this is the panel that goes on top of it. Yeah, and we installed the light, and we are printing. Uh, the back knob, the red part on the screen. Yeah, which is here. Yeah, it goes over there. And another thing we gotta do, we realized, is we have of course the wheel tiller and the stickers on the captain side wall, and then we'll see if we do something with the first officer side as well. Because this is gonna be used for all sort of uh, people in our uh, future plans it might make sense to add another wheel tiller so that the first officer can have the wheel tiller as well because in the captain's seat there might be sitting someone who doesn't know how to fly. Yeah, and I think there's some 737s that have a wheel tiller on both sides. Yeah. Now, now we, we install these LED strips. They're gonna go right inside here. Yeah, and that's okay. gonna shine the backlight on these beautiful modules. So, we'll get these wires. Root them in there and 
put them on these huge aviation co uh, connectors. And look what is done. It now works, but we need to fix that. Yeah, uh, it's bleeding. Bleeding here and here. So we'll just, I don't know, add some Use tape it. or something. Yeah, yeah probably. But it's doing good. All right, so we decided to install, or actually we had this planned, but uh, we didn't remember it, a fan behind the ventilation. And you might be thinking, oh great, now it's gonna blow air and that's it. But no, that fan is just a booster fan and we will attach a ducting to this fan that will go through the heat exchanger module that is in here. Yeah, yeah, there's one of those ducting pipes yes. there. That duct, or not that one, but a kind of this one duct will connect to that, and this will blow uh, warm and cold air, depending on the needs. Hopefully, at least. Yeah, but that's just a booster fan. Because the pipes are uh, quite long. Yeah, maybe like six meters long or something, so. So well, this one's. Have the pressure. Yeah, there. and maybe we don't have the uh, ventilation module installed because that's a separate module. So if in that case, we can just have this one blowing independently. So it's a win-win. Yeah. Uh, also, we are just getting the rest of the cables now in and working on the other side wall. And we will uh, connect into this connector next. All right, we now have moved onto the uh, wheel tiller, and here we have the module that we created a long time ago. Uh, this is a pretty simple design, although it might look quite complicated. It's from the 737 DI SIM designs, and we carved a hole to our insulation, and this fits right here from the other side. Just a simple hole with two mounting screws. And now, we just press it in, line up the screws, and now you can spin it. And it should be grabbing, and then a little bit on the bottom, and this uh, tightening needs to repeat until it's uh, all good. But we'll go ahead and install it, and when we have the handle also attached, uh, we'll show the end result. There we go. This has been a long term goal for us, and it's finally done. Attach a sticker. Yeah. And it looks quite good. Yeah. It centers pretty well. It's it has a little bit problem with yeah, turning. If, if I move it here, it stays. But if I move it fully up, it centers. And right here, it centers everywhere. Yeah, that has some problems with the centering, but uh, it's a no problem. Yeah, we will fix it sometime. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we have that. The connector wired up, uh, it has mm, like I think seven cables going in total and there are the fans and then the lights and finally the, the big light, that dome light there. So it came out pretty good, the connector is a aviation co aviation connector so practically made for this and it's bolted down to this level here um, so it's pretty fun. Before continuing we would like to tell you a little more about our sponsor PCBWay. PCBWay is a part manufacturer who offers PCB manufacturing and assembly, CNC machining and 3D printing services. Their low prices and endless customization enables everyone to use their services in a moment's notice. We've already ordered some parts for this project and it was very convenient and easy process. Go check them out from the first link in the description. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this segment. And back to the video. The walls are gone! They look amazing. The lights and all of these installed. Tiller is on and the uh, dummy plate is also on. Everything is pretty finished, of course. Some smaller details on the back here, but those will come when the back wall is also done so in a long time. But yeah, looking really, really great. 
yeah these these lamps came out really great yeah way better than we thought they have an actual glass lens on them so they are diffused nicely yeah and they have this dummy adjustment knob on the back doesn't work just there and then we move on to the other side you can see we have the connector here all the wires from the ever everywhere i don't know if you can hear me but here we are on the road on the way and we are making good progress so nice <laughs> installed this or fitted these parts here and while it looks good uh, but we have we haven't leveled this so that is why here are some gaps still uh, but uh, once we level this out it should be no problem and we will still paint this don't worry but yeah it looks very good and it fits pretty nicely or perfectly if I say so indeed but, yeah, um, that is the end of, end of this video. Something is next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't even say because we have so many projects coming up yeah. uh, all at once. But remember, like and subscribe right here. And what about if you click this video right here? I think this one is very good though. Okay. Thank Bye. you for watching and goodbye. Bye.